Yo, what is up everybody? Jumping here and today I'm going to be showing you how to get to the top part of the clinic and how to get to the castle in Bloodborne. Both of these areas are somewhat hidden and they are optional. And the castle is really cool and you get a lot of really great items for going there. Alright, let's do this. Okay, so we're going to go to the top part of the clinic first. And both of these areas are actually connected. Once you go to the clinic, then you can go to the castle. And there is a glitch, I'll talk about that once I get there. And here's the thing, you should probably wait until after you beat the giant spider boss to go to the top part of the clinic. It's going to be different if you wait, and in this video, I waited, I beat the giant spider boss. So you will see like what you get for waiting, but it's totally worth it. But once you are in the Forbidden Woods, you can actually get access to the top part of the clinic. If you just follow what I'm doing on screen, you should be able to find it. You have to run up this hill here, and there's going to be like an NPC house, and there's going to be some dog cages on the left side of the house. So, I'm going to run past the dogs, but you will know you're in the right area once you see these cages, and over on the left, there is a hidden cave. Now, it's not so obvious because you have to run to the left. Most people are going to run to the right. But anyway, this hidden cave is really cool. There is a lot of items down here that you can get. I'm going to run past everything. But I would recommend coming here and killing the enemies, getting all the items, because the items are pretty awesome. But you have to deal with poison, it's very, very annoying. But once you get past the poison cave area, then you're going to find a ladder, and that's going to take you up. And it's two ladders, actually, and they take forever to climb. Now, if you do decide to wait, you're going to get a special item. Basically, there are these special items, they're called one-third of an umbilical cord. If you have three of them before you fight the final boss, if you consume them, you will get a secret ending. And it's totally worth it. And there's four of these umbilical cords in the game. So I would recommend waiting just so that you can get one guaranteed. There's another one you can get just in case you messed up with this. But it's totally up to you on how you want to go about doing it. Anyway, I'm climbing up the ladders and we're going to get access to this like graveyard area. And if you remember when you first started the game, there was like a locked gate. You can actually open that up. And if you run down here, there's going to be another ladder that's going to take you on the rooftop. And this is going to be where the clinic is. And we're going to explore the clinic a little bit. There's a couple things you can get there. But the most important thing there is going to be a note. Now, one of my friends was telling me that when he came here, the note was not there. The first time he played through the game, it was there for him. The second time, it was not there for him. But he was still able to go to the castle once coming up to the top part of the clinic. I believe it is a glitch. I was reading up on it and a lot of people were saying that they were not getting this note which is really like an invitation to the castle but they were still able to go to the castle so if you do come here and you do not find this item do not worry you can still probably go to the castle and I'm going to be showing you how to get there in a moment. Right now I'm just uh, pretty much going to show you where to find this invitation. There's going to be an enemy here I'm going to kill him and this right here will open up the door. If you remember, this is where you could talk to the NPC through the door. And here you go. I'm going to pick that up, which is just some of that blood. And we just got the note. And that will allow us to go to the castle. Like I said, if it's not there, it's okay. You should be able to still go. I think there's a glitch going on or something. Anyway, we're going to explore the rest of this. And we're going to try to actually find this chick. I don't know if that alien monster is supposed to be the chick that's in the clinic or not. There is a chest here as well where you can get something in. I believe this is the only other thing you can get here. I might be wrong about that. But yeah, I'm not too sure um, if the alien monster is supposed to be the girl that talks to you through the door or if this woman that we're about to go talk to is the woman that you talk to through the door. Not too sure about that, but this is really fucking crazy. I gotta be honest. And you will see why it is important to wait to come here. Because if you come here before, you're going to have to fight her, and she's like a hunter. She's not that hard, but, you know, it's better just to wait, because then you don't have to fight her. But check this out. We're going to go talk to her right now. God, I'm nauseous. Have you found this? It's progressing. I can see things. I knew it. I'm different. I'm no beast. I'm... Oh. God, it feels awful, but it proves that I'm chosen. Don't you see how they writhe, 
writhe inside my head. It's rather rapturous. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's extremely creepy. Now I'm going to talk to her again, but she repeats herself. So at this point, just kill her. That's what you're supposed to do because you're going to get a special item. So I'm going to slice that bitch up. And let's pick up the item. And there you go. It's one third of the umbilical cord. Like I said, there is a fourth one in the game. So just in case you actually missed that one, you can be sure to get two because there's one in a secret area. You get one for fighting the boss. There's one right there that you can get. And later on, you can also get another one from the prostitute NPC if you remember her. And you have to keep her alive for that though. So if she's dead on your file and you messed up with this, you cannot get the secret ending. So that sucks. But, you know, hey, it's whatever. You do have another chance just in case you messed this up. Because the first time I played through the game, I messed it up. I came here too early. Alright, so we're going to go back to the Hunter Dream. And I'm going to show you how to get to the castle now. Okay, so right now we're at Hemwick's Lane. And what we're going to do is we're going to just run through this area. And once you get to this certain part, you can get into a horse and carriage. And yeah, that will take you to the castle. And this is really trolly because when I first got this note, I knew that you can go to the castle because if you read the note, it actually does say, you know, oh, you've been invited to the castle, come to this Hemwick's Crossing. And I'm like, where's that at? Because I know that this place was Hemwick's Lane. But anyway, you see that pillar right there? It's like blue. That's what you need. You need to run over to the pillar. And once you do, it will trigger this cutscene where the horse and carriage is going to come. It's going to pick you up and it's going to take you to the castle. Now, there's a lot of really great things you can get from the castle. You can get several weapons. There's this really good pistol there. You can get some cool-ass armor there. You can get a gun rapier there, which is amazing. You can also join the Vile Blood Covenant in the castle. And once you join them, you can buy the katana. A lot of people have been asking me, do I know how to get the katana? Yes, you have to go to the castle. You beat the boss there. The boss is really cool too, by the way. But once you beat the boss, you can go and join the Vile Bloods. Once you join them, you can buy the katana for 50,000 echoes. And it is a lot of fun to use that weapon. Alright guys, well that's going to pretty much do it for me. I really hope this has helped you out. If it has, will you please like the video for me? Be sure to favorite it as well. You guys should also subscribe for future Bloodborne content. And I really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and poo so.